So if I look on my animation stage files, I've gotten 10 frames. I have a full crack running through my creature. It's starting to open up slowly, slowly. So I'm right at the middle, basically. And I had to build new assets so I can start opening it up more to reveal a new baby creature inside. And I have a little less than an hour of this class to try to finish getting these frames done, which is a little tight, but we'll see how we, how we can do it. But now that I've built these new assets, it's not as difficult anymore. So I've moved over that frame. So now we're on to building the next one where it starts to open up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two halves. I'm going to select both of them, and I'm going to hit Command-J and duplicate them. And then I'm going to build a little bit more onto the asset. So this is kind of tricky what I'm going to do. But I'm going to select around this one. Oh, but it gives me all the glow. I don't want that. Let's see. What I'll do is I'll just turn the opacity down. I need to draw the inside of the egg. So I'm going to take my lasso and it's going to kind of draw just a little bit in the inside here. Ah, let's smooth it out. like that. And I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to fill this with a gradient. Oh, I got to fill it with something first. So I'm going to say edit fill. I'll just do middle gray. And then I'm filling that something with a gradient. And let's darken it a little bit. I'll do a color overlay and pick something really dark. And then play with the opacity of it. Uh, seeing if maybe layer styles can help me. Now let's move it underneath. And I'm going to erase away from some of this glow effect. Remember, it's just a GIF animation. doesn't need to be perfect. We have so many options, so much control of all these pixels. But the thing about animation is each frame is going to go by in a fraction of a second. So it's really OK if little things slip through. Ooh, and I'm just going to erase away from that a little bit. So it starts to appear like there's an inside of the shell. Then I can actually duplicate, rasterize the layer style. I'm just doing lots of little things to add a little bit more variation here. I'm going to add a basic gradation at an angle like that. So it feels a little bit darker on the inside. There we go.
Okay, and then I can even give it an outline. So it kind of matches the rest of the egg. At a low opacity. That'll work. And then I can cut off any rough edges it might have. Merge these two together. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, now that's one half with kind of an opening in it. I can even burn it where I want it to be a little bit darker, the inside of this shell. So all these compositing skills we've played with are now coming back and helping us. Shadows a little bit. Maybe too much, but that's okay. So I'm doing all of this to build a new asset, which is this half of the body fully cracked open. Lots of fun asset building. Huh. Interesting. So I'm going to merge all those together. So it's just one asset. And now I'm ready to build my next frame. where I start peeling this egg open. Okay. Okay, now that I've built the assets fully, I can start to move them and open them up. And these are now stiff, so I'm not gonna do puppet warp anymore. I'm just gonna do a regular rotate but I want to keep the foot where it was and have it kind of fall away and then maybe fracture more. So it's tricky. I think I might, maybe I'll try distorting. No. Nope. Let's see, so how can I pivot it? Well, let me turn on the, the one behind it so I can get a sense of how it will pivot. There we go. Just kind of move it like that, and then maybe I can just warp it a little bit at the base so it still feels connected there. So I don't want it to feel like a like a wet material opening up. And then that shows me that maybe I need to burn down the inside a little bit more. Of the creature shell. Okay, good. Now I also want to put my new creature inside there. So I need to 
bring that in and I can bring it from duplicating what I had before. This new guy, and I'll mark him with a color. Let's make him violet. And I'm going to set him between the two. So this is him busting out, but I need to start with him kind of small. And instead of shrinking this one, I'm going to make lots of duplicates of it. And that's where I want to end up with him at the beginning. So now I got to shrink down from there. This is building lots of assets right now. So I'm going to just do a regular shrink to begin with. And maybe a move. Maybe a puppet warp. I gotta kind of tuck him into the egg a little bit. So from that to that. This is going to be fast. And so now I do another duplicate. And I shrink again. Rotate. And I puppet warp. I duplicate that. Same thing again. So I'm just building all the assets for this new baby being hatched. It's going to happen fast, kind of leaping out. Careful not to distort it too much. But I don't need to worry too much about subtlety either. Being a GIF animation and all. Let's do one more. Come down where he can actually fit in there and then contort him with puppet warp. Well, there we go. I might need one more just for the head position. Oh, probably shrink a little bit too. 